Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Believing is receiving, and the parable of the sower in the seed. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you are learning about your faith, if you're being resourced for what our purpose is, to pass on the faith to the next generation, or if you are the next generation receiving the faith, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Give, pass on the faith, help us do that. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Okay, so parable for sexagesima, which is the uh, 60 days to, to Lent traditional gospel lesson for um, the second Sunday of pre-Lent is from Luke chapter eight, verses four and following. When a great crowd had gathered and people from around the town came after him, he said in his parable, a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell along the path, I didn't even look, and was trampled underfoot, the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on the rock and it grew up and it withered away and gathered no moisture because it gathered no moisture. Some fell amongst the thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it. And some fell in the good soil and grew and yielded a hundredfold. And then he said, as he had said this, he said to them, the one having ears, let him hear. Now, usually the Lord gives a parable and we're left to try to sort of sort it out with the health of the Holy Spirit. The thing to do is to look for Jesus. And also, um, after you've found Jesus, look for the place that's rather strange. And there you'll find a key to understanding the parable. Here, uh, Jesus is the sower of the seed. He's speaking to the people. The seed, we're about to find out, well, are the words that he speaks. Ho, oh, ho, incomplete pass. The place where the parable goes off the rails is this, this sower is just this willy-nilly throwing the seed um, instead of making sure that it's planted in a, a, um, a straight line, that it's planted in a way that will maximize the crop. This sower is just sowing seed, just also a bad pass. When Jesus explains the parable, it's even better. To you it has been given, so the, the, the disciples catch him in verse 9, when the disciples asked him what the parable meant, he said, to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, the secrets, the hidden things of the kingdom of God, but not to them, so that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not hear. Mysteries, that was a good one, secrets. So this is the parable. The seed is the word of God. The one's along the path side are those who have heard and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. So here, as Jesus explains the parable, we see that receiving the word is believing. And the devil comes and snatches that word away so that they cannot believe and be saved. This is not, I got to stay up late at night worrying about what kind of Ground I am. No help there. You'll just find yourself in more and more law. Get your bed. Get your bed. Get your bed. Don't jump. Jump in your bed. In the bed. There it is. There's a hop. Look at you. All right, so you're not to stay up wondering what kind of words you are. Don't do it. Don't live that way. Instead, the, if your focus should be on the sower and the seed that he sows. The word. The devil wants to set the word so you can believe and be saved. This is not about being a right kind of soil. That's totally missing the point and denies the very explanation of the parable. This is about the sower and the seed. Receive the seed, be saved. And then there's all these other things which occur when the sower sows the seed. Some falls along the rocks. And that's those who hear the word and they receive it with joy. Believing is receiving. But these have, but these have no root. They believe for a while and in a time of testing, they fall away. A time of temptation. 
And as for those that fell amongst the thorns, as those who hear, but they go on their way and are choked off by the cares and riches of the pleasures of this life. And the fruit does not mature. The fruit does not become complete. And as for the good soil, that's you, by the way. Uh, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast with a cologne. That's, a, that's the uh, kalos, kale. Kalos is good, but it's, it's beautiful. That's the, that's the Greek word for beautiful. Kalos, beautiful. It's a beautiful heart. It's a receiving heart. It's a heart which, which receives the gift. And a good heart, Agatha. We had that last week. A good heart. And it bears fruit with huparmone. I say steadfastness. Uh, running the, run the, run their ways through the end. Uh, don't uh, turn the hold fasting into a uh, work that you do. Remember, believing is receiving. Everything was dependent upon the word. So let's get, let's get back to this. A couple of things to take note of. The Lord is sowing his seed to everyone. Haphazardly, some is bouncing everywhere. It's going all over the place. The gifts are going all over the place. And sometimes your heart receives that word of God. And sometimes your heart receives that word of God with joy, but you get distracted by the cares of this life. Time to repent and receive the word of God. Sometimes... Uh, the devil comes and snatches that word away. Time to repent and run back to the word. Because the, the, what is most important is not what's going on with you in your bed. Go in your bed. In the bed. There's a good jumping boy. It's not what's going on with you as so much as where the word is. All of these different ways are different ways that the Lord clears this way, the, the word, clears the, the turf out, the ground out, so that you could believe and be saved. That's what this is really all about. Believing is receiving. And so if you find yourself identifying with some sort of hot rocks, wayside, you know, skinny dirt, just repent. That's what this is about. Repent of being that type of soil because that's what all of us is. But don't let the focus of the parable being what's up with you. Instead, let the focus be what's up with the word. Cling to the word. Believe the word. Be saved. It's that simple. And as we approach Lent and the Lord gets us into receiving mode, slowing us down and fixing our eyes on his words, This is a great text. Fix your ears. That's the best way to prepare for Lent and, this, and Easter. Have your ears receiving the word of God. Clear those other things out. Repentance, faith, so that you might receive all the more the word of God and believing be saved. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.